Welcome to Fursuit Yoga at Furthermore with a bunch of my friends here that we just met and we're going to do yoga together for about 45 minutes here. I am Riffwing Designs and I host yoga online on YouTube and also with the Cosplayin Yogis and we do like anime and cosplay and all of the, the fun comic cons and things like that. So together today we're going to do relaxing yoga and we're going to have a lot of opportunities to listen to your body and do what works for you. Not only do you have to listen to your body, you have to listen to your suit, right? Some stretches may or may not be accessible to you and that's okay. Do what feels good. If you've got shoes or paws on, some things may be a little awkward as well, so just do what works for you. Unless it's we're all standing. I'm going to do my, my rift wing wings here, arms up, breathing. Exhale down. If you want, you can start to like flutter your eyes open or close. Maybe notice your feet, how they are grounding with each breath up and each exhale down at your own pace. Notice if your shoulders are shrugging up. Maybe we'll stop here and do some so shoulder shrugs. Back, roll. I like to do four points. So up, back, down, and forward. Make it really deliberate. Scrunch it up and let it go. Breathing here. If you do one thing in yoga, it's to breathe. <laughs> if you don't want to do any of the poses, just breathe. All right, other way. So now we're going back, forward, down, back, up, forward, and down. Those four points. Because in yoga, balance is everything. You need to do both sides, yin and yang, right? So the yin is the slow stuff, what we're doing today. The yang is that really fast stuff where you do a bunch of vinyasas and you're all over the place and you turn into a pretzel. If you want to be a pretzel today, you're welcome. That can be your new persona. <laughs> which I'm sure there has to be, and if not, we're going to make it happen. But if you want to just be relaxed, that's fine too. All right, now shoulders roll up, back, and down. Welcome! If you want to be on camera, there's a spot right here. We're going on YouTube. If not, stay over there. <laughs> so from here, we're going to start to do our neck roll. So shoulders back and down. Only roll your head as much as is comfortable. So head down and to one side, just to your shoulder and back. And if you want to do full circles, you can, but just remember, if you do that, you want no pain, no stinging. You want it to be nice and comfortable. And then if it's available, you can do those full circles. At any time, if you feel something that calls to you, stop what you're doing and do that stretch. You do not have to follow me. Take what you want and leave what you don't. All right, come back to stillness here. We're going to inhale arms up again and this time we're going to take our hands maybe put them together if your suit or your ears allow and we're going to banana to one side breathing here you're getting a good side stretch notice if you bend one knee or the other how it changes your stretch and then inhale up exhale the other side again noticing your knees here Maybe one side feels worse than the other. And now our favorite part, we're going to come back to center. We're going to swan dive down. So you're hinging at the hips here, going into a forward fold. Now in this fold, if you bend your knees, you will get a different feeling. Maybe you want a really deep bend in your knees, and that'll give you a lower back stretch. Really good if you sit a lot. Or maybe you want to have your knees a little bit straighter, and that'll give you more of a back stretch. Welcome. This side's on camera if you want to be on YouTube. If you don't, you can stay over there. There are some spots up front and on the side here. Uh, and actually one in the middle back here as well. I think we've got one mat open if you have any sensitivities with your knees or your back. All right, for those of you in your forward fold, you're going to slowly start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Coming up and do another shoulder roll here. Notice how it feels. Maybe you roll your head again. All right. Now, was the uh, critter that was on Telegram asking for walkies here today? Okay, we're going for walkies, everybody. So to do walkies, 
You're going to first deliberately, just slowly, one little foot at a time, just walk forward and notice how your weight shifts on the ball of your feet. Really be deliberate in breathing and stepping, very small steps, just a couple of feet ahead. Breathing here. When you get to where you think is the edge of your mat, we're gonna stop and then go backwards. Again, very, very, very small steps. Feeling your toes and the balls of your feet and your heels touching the ground, keeping them as small as possible. And when you get to the where you think the back is, we're gonna make it even more fun. So you're gonna get on your tippy toes and do the same thing. Very baby, baby, baby steps, keeping your balance. And try to do walkies forward and back. For those of you that just got here, welcome. This side's on camera if you wanna be on YouTube, otherwise you can stay up front. <laughs> And when you get to the front of your mat, you're backing up again, getting those baby walkies in. Now, last time, if this works for you, again, you can stop anytime. Inhale, arms up, and try it with your arms up. Tippy toe, balance. Imagining you're like a crane. Hey, why don't we do crane pose when we get to the top of your mat? So keep tippy toeing, keep tippy toeing. Take your time to get up front. And when you get there, you're going to Lower your feet down, keeping your hands up. Take your hands back into goal posts. And from there, raise one foot so you're doing like a ninja pose and try to hold it for four, three, two, and put it down. Keep your arms up, other leg. Imagine you're that magical crane. Woo -hoo -hoo. Who else is not so balanced today? And leg down. Arms, why don't we stretch them back if you can, maybe clasp your elbows or your hands behind your back. Give you a good stretch up. Nice, big stretch, wonderful. Again, breathing here. And when you're ready, we're going to pause and just kind of shake it out. Feel how you're doing. Since we've got a worm here, we're gonna do a little worm. We're gonna take our arms and we're gonna go like this. I love it because I got wings and it makes me feel magical. And then we're going to take our arms, we're going to try to go both directions, so one forward and one back. <laughs> Here we go, coordination. You ready? And now, stop in the front, go the other way. Do you remember which way you were going before? Keep going. All right. All right. Now we've got to do a little bit of leg stretches. So why don't we do a yoga squat down, inhale arms up on your tippy toes and lower the seating it only if it works for you. So maybe you spread out your feet, but you're going to try to get into a squat. Hold it for a couple of breaths and then sit down without crushing your tail. <laughs> Good job. From here, legs straight out. We're just going to do a little inhale, arms up, and we're going to do a forward fold, but for this one, keep your back straight. Notice where you stop. You may not touch your toes, that's okay. Put your arms on your legs wherever they reach and just breathe here. Roll your shoulders back, notice the difference. Two breaths. And then you can round your back and see what different stretch you get here. Maybe you bend your knees a little bit just to curl up. Stretching your legs and your lower back. Good. We're going to hold that for a minute. I'm going to take some photos on the photo side. Looking gorgeous. Lovely, lovely yogis right here. Cheers. And one up here. Adorable. All right. So, next part we're going to do is we're gonna have some fun with our cosplayers. We're gonna make up poses based on the creatures that we have here today. <laughs> and we got some laughs going on, I love it. So first off, let's start over here. What kind of creature are you? I'm a black bear. We have a black bear, ooh, bear pose. This is a good one. Bear pose, we're gonna get our hands and knees. I'll do it like this. This is follow the leader. From here, you're gonna plant your hands. Notice how your paws or your hands are touching the ground. You want weight in your fingers or your paw pads on all the digits. 
kick your feet a little bit and notice where the backs of your feet are. Then tuck your toes and just lift your knees an inch off the ground and try to hold it with your core and your shoulders. This is bear pose. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Let's get a growl. <laughs> yeah, some people are going into child's pose. That's a good counter stretch where you lower your hips down. Maybe you widen your knees a little bit and just stretch. This is a good resting pose. We're going to be able to come back here anytime you have issues. Your feet can be together if that feels good. Your knees can be together if that feels good. But the traditional way is knees wide, feet together. <laughs> And again, depending on your costume and your body, you will find a different child's pose. You can also sit. Great. Breathe here. While we're here, take those paws and just move them to the right so you're getting a side stretch to the right. Woo, I can't do that in this costume. <laughs> and then walk the hands to center and take them to the other side, getting a good side stretch. My muzzle like buries itself in this pose. <laughs> good. And then take it back to center. Look at that tail go, that's wonderful, I love it. All right, what kind of creature we got back here? Oh, let's, let's wolf? Sure, why not? Okay, we'll do wolf. <laughs> So for wolf, we're going to stay here on our tummy. Lay down. Put your arms near you, or near your shoulders, and you're just going to push up a little bit. And notice that little back bend, if this feels good. Then lift up your head. Oh. Oh. All right, back down. Maybe turn your head to one side, because my muzzle does not work. <laughs> We're going to go back up again. This time, try it without your hands. Maybe lift your chest just a little bit. Oh. oh. <laughs> and then down. And I'm going to do another child's pose because that just feels good after these little back bends. Again, you do you. Next. Hello. What kind of creature are you? A saber tooth. A saber tooth? Oh, yeah. We'll stay on our hands and knees. For this one, you're going to lift up one paw and lift up the opposite paw and the foot. And you're going to try and hold this in balance. Maybe you need to put your foot down. You want to look down towards the carpet. And then you're going to put your hand and your foot down and switch sides. Saber tooth. Maybe do a little scratchies with your paws. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and back to hands and knees. We got some cats here. Any dogs here? We got some dogs, okay. <laughs> We're gonna do some cat cow. This one's pretty traditional. You may have heard of it in other places. So for cat, you're arching your back like you're a cat on a fence. And then exhale, or inhale, head up, and your back kind of stretches the opposite way. So you're curling and exhaling and then looking up and stretching, exhale. So exhale back up. Inhale when you're looking up. And do that a few times. Maybe you want to shake your tail here. Maybe your hips are loose. Wherever you are, <laughs> find what works for you. Welcome, welcome everybody. All right. Next. You are not a cat or a dog. I'm a skunk. You're a skunk, yes. Woo, okay. These are all great because we can stay on our hands and knees. All right, what are we going to do for skunk? We're going to take this, and you're going to go onto your, like put your hands together, and you're going to just be on your forearms. And see how this feels. If you have weak shoulders, this may or may not work, but what you're going to do is tuck your feet underneath and lift your hips. Keeping your neck bent so you're looking towards the floor. Okay? Skunk pose. <laughs> and let yourself down whenever you need to. Good job, good job. 
<laughs> are you worried what pose you're going to get? I don't know. Okay, what are you? Um, dinosaur fox thing. Oh, a know. dinosaur fox thing. We got a couple dinosaur fox things. <laughs> All right, for this one, we're going to put our feet in front of us. Sitting up straight, roll those shoulders back. Maybe just look up a little bit. And you're going to take one knee in and just hug it. And if it works for you, you can twist over that leg and start to look behind you. Breathing here. On your inhales, you can lengthen and exhale, twist a little more. Looking behind us to the time of the dinosaurs. For three, two, one, and then come back to center. Put one leg down, pull up that other knee. We're going to do it on the other side. So first, just hug your knee in. And then if you want to, you can try and twist over that knee. Good. Good job. Excellent. Again, find what works for you. Take what you need. Leave what you don't. And then come back to center. Maybe what we need to do here is straighten both legs, but then pull your feet in. And we're going to do like a little windshield washer back and forth. Loosening those hips. Let it go. Excellent. All right, does anyone need a water break? If you've got water, feel free to take it. If not, we're going to keep going. All right, what kind of creature we got here? Police? Yeah. Dragon. Ah, uh, yes. So dragon pose. We're going to save that for last because it's the best one, OK? Bet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do we got over here? We got, you're a fox? OK. We did, I've got another fox in the back. OK, foxes. We're going to go back to our hands and knees. Lift one leg up, hold it here, and then plant your foot and do a little stretch, pushing back like a little, little lunge. I love our tail helper over there. Very good job. <laughs> and then lift your leg up. Maybe bring that knee around and do some hip circles here. Notice the balance of your hands when you do this. And then plant your knee and switch to the other side, lifting up your leg. And then lowering your foot, stretching out the back of your calf. Good job. Got some natural yogis here. <laughs> Even the ones with tail difficulties. <laughs> And then maybe, again, you pull in that knee and do some hip circles. Good job. Yep, again, take any other stretches that feel good to you. And then if you want, you can go back to child's pose or seated. All right, the infamous tail yogi. What kind of creature are you? I'm like a hybrid of a dinosaur. And it's like a raptor dinosaur. A raptor dinosaur. Wait, that, that's the same thing. No, that's totally raptor, cool. Raptor dragon. All right, that means we got to stand up. So maybe you do a forward fold on the way up, but just find your way to standing. Raptor dinosaur. Sounds like a warrior to me. What do you think? <laughs> Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. We're going to take our hands, put them on our hips. We're going to step our right foot forward, bend the front knee to about a 90 degree angle, and turn the back foot to a 45 degree angle. Hips face forward. This is the leg stance of a warrior. Now, in this, if your legs are wider apart, it'll feel different. So maybe walk your feet closer or farther apart to see how it feels for you. Again, everybody is different. Now we got to take our arms, inhale up. Shoulders back and down. Back to goal posts with some claws. What sound does a raptor make? No one knows. Let's do it. Yeah! <laughs> All right, arms back up. Stepping forward. Shake out those legs, and we're going to do the other side. So get into the other with the front leg bent. Back foot about a 45 degree angle. Hips facing forward. Arms up. Goal posts. Claws and cackle. <laughs> Excellent. Back up to standing. 
Maybe you need to do some more shoulder rolls here. Again, feel what works for you. <sighs> Let's see. We got this pink worm on a string. Is that it? Yes. Oh, you are going to be a challenge here. I like it. OK? All right, worm on a string. All right. For this one, I think what we're going to do is inhale, arms up, exhale, fold. Woo. Plant your hands, and you're going to go under your hands and knees, and then you're going to go down to your belly. Your hands should be by your shoulders, elbows near your sides. Now, take your hands to the back so they're on the side by your hips. Lift your head up and then maybe try to lift your legs, pulling them together. This is a lot of core. It's like you're Superman. If you think you can do it, take your hands forward like you're flying. And then try to wiggle like a worm on a string. Baby, roll. Roll. Let's do those worms. Do what works for you. Take what you need and leave what you don't. <laughs> Some of you all are like, this is not my pose. Why did the worm on a string come to this yoga class? This is wild. Good worms. All right, come to stillness. Everybody on your back. Let's try a worm on a string. Reverse. How does this work, y'all? Arms are at your sides. Legs lift up so you're almost doing a little crunch. Try to pull your knees in. And lower. Or if this doesn't work for you, just pull your knees in and make a little ball. And then stretch it out again. Do that a couple times. Maybe just give yourself a big hug. Reverse worm. All right, what other creatures we got over here? Oops. What are you? Snow leopard. A snow leopard doing some good ab work. Excellent. Yes. All right. All right, so give yourself another big hug. From here, we're all laying in different positions. That's totally fine. When you're ready, you can roll over to one side and then find your way back over onto your hands and knees. Now we've done cat. What's cat? Where you arch your back and look down. Snow leopard's going to be another mix on this. So for this, we're going to take our right paw and, our le and then we're going to step our right foot in. Aha! And then it looks like you, your hand in front of you is like clawing. Uh-huh. Then take your foot back. Switch to the other one. So your left paw and your left foot come forward. Staying on your knee and keep going. Work on your balance here. Work on your abs, shoulders. Notice your neck. Maybe you need to look down more. Get those claws. I want to see some fierce snow leopards. Yeah. Switch it up. Good job. All right. Is there anyone else that is not in suit that wants a pose? And I'm looking slowly because I don't have good vision. <laughs> Dragon is always the best and the last. All right. We'll do that and then we'll start to cool down. All right. Y'all have found yourselves in uh, hero pose. So what's interesting about hero pose, hands and knees, if you tuck your toes, you're going to give yourself a really, really, really tight stretch if you don't stretch your little toesy. So maybe put your toes on the ground and try to see how good or bad that stretch feels. This is what it looks like. If you can see my, my little footsies, there you go. So it'll be a little painful. If it is, that means you need to do it more often. But only hold it as long as you, you need to. I'll go over here to show y'all. You take your footsies, tuck your, tuck your toes, and then sit back. They call it hero pose because it might be a test of patience because your, your little toes get a little sore and stop anytime you need to. Shoulders back and down, breathing in this pose. Yeah, good posture. Excellent. All right, then untuck those feet. What we're going to do is go back to hands and knees, because this is a good center place. For dragon pose, 
your feet are down, maybe kick them on the floor a little bit, kick those toes. Oh yeah, we got thunder. You ready for the dragon? Arr. So what we did before is we stepped our hand and our foot forward. This time, we're going to rise up and look proud. Maybe you stretch forward a little bit, stretch that back foot back a little bit, you're gonna get more of a stretch across your groin. Let that back leg go back as far as feels comfortable, and you're gonna have your hands on your knees. Proud here, maybe a little back bend, dragon pose. Only do it as much as feels comfortable because it's gonna be intense. What a dragon sound like? Rawr. Excellent. All right, we're gonna come back. You're gonna switch our legs. If you wanna go through hands and knees, feel free. Lifting up, finding where that back leg wants to be, getting a nice stretch in between your legs. Maybe a little back bend, dragon pose. And again, let's get those breath. Inhale, exhale, roar. Good job. This is a great class, y'all. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, from here, going back to our hands and knees. Maybe you shake your tail. We're going to inhale, right arm up. Exhale, you're going to sweep it under your chest and give yourself a hug. Then inhale up. Exhale, hug again. You look at that balance we're working on here. Inhale up. This time you're going to sweep it under, keep it down, and see if you can lower into a little twist. If it works for you, try to get your shoulder down if you can. Maybe you got to adjust your hips or your feet. Do what works for you, or just give yourself that hug and you don't have to twist. And then inhale, arm up, keep it up, give your wrists a little roll. Excellent. You know what we need to do, find balance on the other side. Back to all fours. Other hand goes up. Give yourself a hug. Inhale up. Exhale, hug. And the last one up. And now we're going to see if we can swing into a little twist, lowering your shoulder, moving all your body parts, and trying for a little side twist here. Finding what you need and leaving what you don't. Breathing. All right. We've got 15 minutes left, which means it is time to cool down. Our favorite part in first suit, right? <laughs> so for that, we are actually going to do one kind of fun pose in the middle here. Let's see if I can get in everybody's view. If you want, we're going to do our squats again. We're going to do the ninja squats because ninjas are always fun. So are pirates. And you're going to try to shift your weight from foot to foot with your hands in prayer here. I'm just going to do a little bonus crab walk. If you want, you can do crab walk too. Like this. Wide legs side to side. Yeah. Try to lower your booty as far as you can. That's comfortable. And then again, maybe you bring your feet together and you try to step over like a little crab. You need the skitters. Now I'm going all the way over with my hands. Let me, let me do it for the camera here. Skitters. If you do one way, make sure you go the other way and don't hit your friends. Excellent. And when you're ready, we're just going to sit down. <sighs> nice work, everybody. <sighs> you think we need to do that hip stretch again? Lean back and just wiggle your knees both ways. Adjusting your tail as necessary here. <sighs> Come to stillness. And we're going to lower back using your abs for four, three, two, one. Your knees should be bent here. Pulling your paws, your, your feet as close to your tail as you can. Breathe here, because I need to breathe. <laughs> and what we're going to do is first we're going to do a little back bend. Plant your hands so they're almost, your fingers are almost brushing your feet if you can. So your fingers are towards your butt. You're going to press down with your palms into the ground. 
Press down with your shoulders into the ground. Your head and your feet, keep your knees together and try and lift your hips a little bit. Go as far as comfortable for you. And then let it down. All right, and we're gonna do it again, maybe lifting a little higher. Exhale, push up. And you can stay right there if you don't wanna do this. <laughs> so this is nap time already. And let it down. Good. Bring your knees in. Give yourself a hug again. From here, maybe rock side to side. And when you're ready, you're gonna take the left leg and stretch it out in front of you, holding your right knee in. Give that knee a hug. Left leg is out straight, right knee is in. Now again, do what feels good for you. But if you want, you can try and open your knee to the right with your hand guiding its direction. Then pull it back to center and try to cross over, giving yourself a spinal twist. Breathing here. If your spine cracks, <laughs> that's okay. It happens as you get more gray in your muzzle. We're gonna be here for about 30 seconds, so find a pose that works for you. You can be twisted or just laying flat, cooling down. Breathing deeply here. Noticing how your body feels after doing that deep stretching. And when you're ready, come back to center. And then switch out your legs, hugging in that other knee. And now maybe guiding it to the same side first, opening up your hip a little. And then when you're ready, pulling it across your body and giving yourself a twist if that feels good for you. And again, we'll be here for about a minute, so find that cozy laying down pose that works. I'm doing a picture. This is as close to pretzel pose as you're gonna get. Good job, everyone. and then come back to center. From here, you're gonna start to take your legs down, laying flat. Inhale, arms above your head as far as you can in your costume. And then maybe start to move your arms and legs to, to the right. So you're doing like a little banana, your hips stay the same place, but your arms and legs will start to go to one side. You can do this standing, it feels great. Just do a little, little banana pose here for those of you with costume issues. <laughs> you want your shoulders back. And maybe notice if you t t tip your hips, if that makes it feel more or less. So maybe bend one knee. Breathing into it. Yeah, ribs inside. And then when you're ready, we're going to start the banana to the other side. So take your time. Shifting your hands and feet, keeping your body together on the floor. Banana, other side. We call this banana asana. Asana means pose. And then come back to center. We're gonna do legs up the wall or leg stand if you want. So you might wanna sit up just to see what I'm gonna show you. So for legs up the wall, you lay down and you lift up your feet just like this and you can keep them like that. Or if you have it in your skill set, you can lift up your hips and do a little leg stand. If you don't, we'll go to the chairs. And then we're gonna lay next to them like this, scooch up. Put your feet up and just lay down. Easy peasy. So pick whichever pose you want. This is an inversion. 
Or you can just lay on the ground. There's no judgment. Wherever you are, you don't want any pain or tingling or burning. You're holding this for another minute, so again, find what's cozy. If your legs are up, maybe you try to put one leg forward and one leg back. Maybe switch it up, see if it feels good. Have fun here. Excellent. Again, listening to your body, doing what feels good to you. And slowly, comfortably lower back down. Keep your knees bent. Do a couple of hip stretches and then we'll be done. So for this one, again, if it works for you, we're gonna do a wide hip stretch. You're gonna raise up your right foot, cross it over and put your ankle on the left knee, and then stretch that knee, the right knee out. So you're getting a hip stretch here. This is called pigeon. If it works for you, maybe you grab that left leg and pull it in a little bit, but you do not have to. What you wanna feel is just a little hip stretch here. Wonderful, looks like you're all sitting in lounge chairs. Maybe you flex the foot, pull the toes up. See if that feels different. See if it feels good or bad. And again, the more you pull your foot in, it's gonna be a different stretch. Five more breaths here. Really getting in that rest. And when you're ready, we're gonna switch it out. So you're gonna put both feet down, take the other leg up, and then cross the ankle over, resting it on your knee. And again, finding the position that works for you. Each leg is different, notice the differences. I could stay here all day. I don't know about you. So for final Savasana, which we're not going to, stay where you are. You can pick any of these resting poses that you like, or you can just lay down. We're going to be here for about five more breaths. And come back down, do any other stretches your body needs right now before we're gonna find that final resting pose. So your legs can go out straight, your arms can be by your sides if that feels good, or if you want your knees bent, do that. Again, whatever is cozy for you. We're gonna be here for almost five minutes. Sometimes we call this yogi nap time. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna give you some ideas for relaxation. I will be here watching over everyone and I will call you out of it. So don't worry. What's gonna happen is you're gonna start to close your eyes. Find a steady breath. Start to notice your body, where it touches the floor. Notice the skin, where the air is blowing over it, or maybe if you're in your nice cozy suit, that feeling of warmth like a little hug around you as you're being exactly who you are. Start to relax your body. If you need to, you can wiggle your toes or just think about them and relax every muscle in your toes and feet. And then think about your lower legs, your kneecaps. How do they feel after yoga? And then go to your upper legs, allowing them to fully relax. 
Notice your hips. How are your hips right now? Do they need one more wiggle? Allow your hips to fully relax. Maybe you need to modify your tail or your tush. Move a little bit of cushioning to get yourself even more cozy and relaxed. Every body is different. Find what you need so that your entire lower body is fully relaxed. Think about your chest and your back. Notice your spine. How does your spine feel now after that yoga? Notice as your chest rises and falls with each breath, coming deeply, bringing in a positive energy and exhaling any negative energy. Moving to your shoulders. Maybe you're rolling them back and down. Keep them away from your neck. Allow your shoulders to fully relax. Your arms and elbows allow to fully relax. And your fingers and your palms allow your fingers to completely relax and depending on the way that they're facing, upwards you're gaining energy, lower, touching the ground, they're grounding, finding that calm stillness of the earth. Now your entire torso and legs, your lower body, it's all relaxed. Well, think about your neck. Maybe you need to Tuck your nose up a little bit to see what you need. Maybe even roll your head side to side. Find what you need so that your neck is relaxed. Release your tongue from the top of your mouth. Release your jaw. Release that little spot in between your eyes. Release your forehead. No more creases. No more stress. And notice the top of your head, the crown, the center of all of your white positive energy. Allow that white positive energy to flow through your body with every inhale, allowing your entire body to completely relax. And now I'll give you a minute of silence to enjoy this full relaxation as you enjoy your savasana. to notice your breath, just staying where you are, making each inhale a little larger, again breathing in that positive energy, and exhaling, letting everything go. It is now 1045. If you want to start going ahead with your day, you can, and we'll slowly get there, but if you want to stay here for another 10 minutes, feel free. If you're with me and you're going to start getting together, maybe start wiggling your fingers and toes, your paws and your claws, maybe your ankles and wrists. Stretching just like you're getting ready for the day and in your own time, you're going to find your way up to seated, maybe going through a side roll, noticing your body.
Come on. There we go. And when you're ready, we're going to sit up. And in the way that yoga always finishes, we like to inhale our arms up. We're going to sweep them down and then come back up. Just feeling that good arm stretch, shoulders back. And when you're at the top, hands come together, paws come together. Pull them in like a little prayer in front of you. In the words of the yogis, we say namaste, which means that the light in me honors and acknowledges the light inside of each and every one of you. To be here and to take time for your own body is an amazing thing, especially when we have a very busy con. So anytime you need to come back to that peaceful place, know that it's inside of you. So together we're going to take a big inhale and then an exhale. So inhale in, exhale, let it go. And one more big inhale, exhale, let everything out. And I raise my hands to my forehead and I thank you using the words of the yogis. Namaste. Thank you all for coming. I have business cards up here. If you are in the videos, I'll be putting it on YouTube. I'm riffling designs everywhere. Certified yoga teacher and I teach also with the cosplay and yogis at anime and comic conventions. So I can't wait to see you all at the next convention. And thank you all for being here today.